Researchers found two courtyards and a quantity of artifacts. Plates and ceremonial weapons have been found. A civilization far back in time, but so much ahead of its time, ancient Egypt keeps stunning the world with the array of discoveries that are as strange as they are anachronistic, lending us a window to observe and be amazed by the culture and wonders of its past civilization. From astounding architectural feats to bizarre ritualistic practices, several discoveries uncovered from the Egyptian sands of time will leave you speechless. Stay tuned to the end of this video as we uncover the most recent and mysterious discovery from ancient Egypt that was once buried in the wet beds of the Nile River in Egypt. Number 15. The Tomb of Nate. In 2022, Egypt witnessed a significant discovery, a tomb belonging to an unknown Egyptian queen. The queen had been lost in history as many archaeologists and historians reckoned she was an unfamiliar name in the royal harem of King Teti. Her tomb was discovered in the pyramid next to King Teti's and had no inscription. Dr. Zahi Hawass, who led the expedition, explained that the queen's tomb was a strange discovery, and the absence of a name in the pyramid made it stranger. Finally, her name was found after weeks of foraging artifacts carved on a temple wall and written on a fallen obelisk at the entrance to her tomb. Linked to Tutankhamun's tomb by underground tunnels, this find led archaeologists to other burial chambers. Over 300 unique mummies were unearthed inside these tombs, each adorned with distinct faces, scenes from the Book of the Dead, and the names of the deceased. Notably, one tomb featured a golden female face. These findings, accompanied by artifacts like statues of the ancient god Ptah, offer insights into the traditions and culture of this civilization. The queen for whom this tomb was constructed, named Neat or Nate, had remained a mystery for over 3,000 years. Number 14. Concealed Egress The Great Pyramid of Giza has always intrigued scholars who marveled at its astounding features, making it one of Egypt's iconic landmarks. Some believe it was built with the aid of extraterrestrial civilizations, given its colossal size and age. But scholarly consensus explains that it was built during the reign of King Khufu, around 2560 BCE, and is unsure about the means with which the dead king employed to build this architectural wonder. In 2017, a team of structure mappers, Scan Pyramids, undertook an expedition to map out the interior of the Great Pyramid using non-invasive technologies, particularly muon tomography. Scans from this expedition of the pyramid's northern part unveiled a hidden corridor over nine meters long above the king's chamber. When they inserted a camera through one of the openings underneath the entrance, this scan revealed the existence of a corridor 30 feet long and 6.9 feet wide with a chevron ceiling. There have been numerous speculations regarding its purpose. While some people stick with rational ideas and suggest it either led to another pharaoh's tomb or holds the key to unraveling the mysteries of the pyramid, others succumb to the idea that it is a secret passage for egress. The questions of for whom and to where are yet to be unanswered, as the big void is still largely unexplored. Mustafa Zari, the Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, has announced plans for further exploration, promising deeper insights into this unique civilization. Number 13. The obelisk that never was posing as a subject of great debate, historians often discuss the astounding obelisks crafted by the ancient Egyptians. The mystery surrounding the making of these remarkable monoliths sparks one too many questions, such as the technique used to carve them out carefully from a single block of stone and prevent cracking it. The logistics involved in moving these massive thousand-ton structures across long distances, and the engineering employed to hoist these colossal columns erect at their final locations. The massive granite stone found in the ancient Aswan Quarry, the unfinished obelisk, poses an interesting puzzle and an insight into the unanswered questions accompanying these structures' creation. Commissioned during the reign of Queen Hatshepsut in the 18th century, it was meant to be the heaviest and tallest obelisk in history. The unfinished obelisk was never completed due to a significant crack. 
While some skeptics propose extraterrestrial assistance, studying the obelisk's surface reveals clues of materials made from diorite used to chip at the bedrock to carve out the obelisk and round tools used for polishing. Additionally, massive ridges on its sides and cavities filled with wood chips hint at mechanical processes that helped detach the sculpture from the bedrock. The question of transportation is still at large. Could the ancient Egyptians have developed lost machinery? Number 12. Love at the End of the Tunnel In eastern Egypt, archaeologists led by Kathleen Martinez unearthed another hidden tunnel at the Taposiris Magna Osiris Temple in Alexandria on the Egyptian coast. Dubbed a geometric marvel, this four 281-foot-long tunnel was etched into the rock at about 42 feet beneath the surface and stands seven feet high. The team described this discovery as an engineering miracle due to the complexity of the structure and its resilience, as research divulged that almost 23 earthquakes had occurred in the region, but the tunnel only suffered minor dilapidations. The passage at Taposiris Magna was constructed during the Ptolemaic era, from 304 BC to 30 BC. This was when Egypt was governed by a line of kings who were descendants of one of Alexander the Great's top generals. This led to some speculations that the Taposiris Magna could be hiding the final resting place of Mark Antony and Cleopatra VII, which also spurred the team onto the expedition to find the tombs of the lovers. While their goal still eludes them, they found some other artifacts as compensation for their efforts, amongst which are statues from the Ptolemaic era inside the tomb, ceramic vessels, and ancient artifacts. While the possibility of finding the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Anthony's tomb remains remote, the archaeologists persevere in their quest to uncover the truth. Number 11. The Temple of the Falcon In 2019, Spanish archaeologists unearthed a falcon shrine that dates back 1,700 years in the eastern region of Egypt, on the former site of the Greco-Roman port of Berenice. The shrine includes a pedestal with the remains of 15 falcons, all missing their heads and buried with eggs, an uncommon practice in ancient Egypt. In another shrine chamber, archaeologists stumbled upon a stela, or pillar, bearing a Greek inscription that reads, It is improper to boil a head in here. The reasons behind the beheading of the falcons, the placement of the stela with its curious message forbidding head boiling, and the presence of a harpoon near the falcons remain enigmatic puzzles yet to be solved. The stela portrays three deities, Horus, Harpocrates of Koptos, and one mysterious deity, adorned with a crown fashioned from cow horns and a solar disc, whose identity remains unclear. This ritualistic offering to the Egyptian god Horus was not uncommon along the Nile Valley, but the beheaded falcons in a temple setting raised intriguing questions. A harpoon, depictions of deities, statuettes and inscriptions warning against boiling bird heads only add to the enigma. The discovery of this shrine indicates that ancient religious customs continued to exist even after the emergence of Christianity, as it had become the Roman Empire's official religion during the period when the shrine was actively used. This discovery may seem small, but it is a pivotal piece of the puzzle in understanding the religious beliefs and rituals that thrived within this ancient civilization. Number 10. The Lost Labyrinth of Hawara The Lost Labyrinth of Egypt, or the Hawara Labyrinth, is a hidden underground place in Egypt located beneath the Hawara Pyramid. It's believed to have included temples, passages, open areas, and libraries that might have contained information about ancient Egyptian and even older civilizations. This place was called a labyrinth by an ancient Greek historian named Herodotus because it was incredibly complex. It had confusing passages to discourage intruders and protect the temples. It's said to have more than 3,000 rooms filled with forgotten history and culture. Recent ground-penetrating radar scans confirmed the existence of numerous rooms with thick granite walls. This discovery rekindles the mystery of the labyrinth and its hidden secrets. Egyptologist Carl R. Lepsius first spotted the ancient ruins near Hawara in Egypt, later explored by Flinders Petrie in 1888. Back then, they couldn't confirm if it was the famous labyrinth. However, in 2008, the Mataha expedition used special radar to find grid-like patterns under the sand where Petrie had looked. 
It turned out he mistook the ceiling of the labyrinth for the ground. They published this discovery in a scientific journal, but Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities later halted further information sharing. Eventually, the Mataha expedition researchers created a website to share their findings. Since then, there have been no significant developments, and the Hawara Labyrinth remains a mystery. Number 9. The Valley of the Golden Mummies In 1996, archaeologist Zahi Hawass and his team uncovered the Valley of the Golden Mummies in the Baharia Oasis. Initially, 105 mummies were found, but further excavations revealed a staggering total of approximately 10,000 mummies. These mummies, adorned with thin gold decorations and religious paraphernalia, represent some of the finest examples from Egypt's Roman period and are nearly 2,000 years old, remarkably well-preserved. The discovery occurred when an antiquities guard named Ayyad was riding his donkey near El Bawiti, south of Bahariya, and the donkey accidentally stumbled upon a tomb's entrance. The archaeologists decided to investigate and traveled to the site in May 1996, to their astonishment, they found the beautifully preserved mummies, some of which appeared as if they were looking right at them, almost like real people. Number 8. The Rosetta Stone On an expedition to kick the English out of the Mediterranean, Napoleon sailed for Egypt, but he also had a personal interest in the country because his role model once conquered it, and also for its archaeological gold mine. In 1799, suffering loss after loss amid the ongoing war, some of Napoleon's men were rebuilding a neglected fort, St. Fort Julian, near the port city of Rosetta, now known as El Rashid, when they stumbled upon an immovable large black rock. Luckily, the lieutenant in charge, Pierre-Francois Bouchard, was also a trained scientist and saw the rock as a thing of interest. The rest is history as the calculated decisions of that day led to the discovery of an extraordinary artifact, the eponymous Rosetta Stone. This 760-kilogram slab of granodiorite was a pivotal discovery that made the whole study of ancient Egypt and Egyptology make sense. The Rosetta Stone bore a thanksgiving message to Ptolemy V, inscribed in ancient Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and Demotic script. This stone was the key to deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs, allowing us to unlock the secrets of ancient Egyptian writings. Number 7. Golden Tongues, Bridge to the Divine Recent discoveries in Egypt have revealed ancient Egyptian mummies with golden tongues placed in their mouths. Researchers believe this was a symbolic way to facilitate communication with Osiris, the god of the underworld. These mummies were found in the Kiwaisna necropolis, about 40 miles south of Cairo, and this finding is part of a series of similar discoveries. Similar mummies with gold tongues were found last year in El Banyasa, around 136 miles south of Cairo and Alexandria. These mummies date back approximately 2,500 and 2,000 years, respectively. Ancient Egyptians often buried their deceased with objects they believed would be useful in the afterlife, reflecting their belief in a continued existence beyond death. These objects included mummified food, animals, protective amulets, figurines, elaborate face masks, and even miniature boats. In 2021, archaeologists uncovered mummies adorned with golden tongues in the Nile Delta's previously unexplored necropolis. These tongues were thought to enable communication with gods in the afterlife. Alongside mummies, they found clay pots, golden scarabs, lotus flowers, and stone amulets, underscoring the Egyptian belief in the soul's transformation and communication with the divine. Number 6. The Lost Golden City In 2020, a team of archaeologists led by Zahi Hawass in a bid to find King Tut's mortuary temple unearthed a 3000-year-old ancient city near Luxor. This bustling metropolis, historically referred to as the Rise of Aten, was established by Amenhotep III. He was the grandfather of Tutankhamun, commonly known as King Tut. The Golden City, as it came to be called, continued to be used during Amenhotep III's co-regency with his son Akhenaten, as well as during the reign of Tutankhamun and his successor, Ai. Despite its illustrious past, archaeologists still undiscovered this city's remnants until recently. During their expedition, the team explained they encountered mud bricks everywhere they set as the point of excavation. 
After a series of futile efforts, not only did they realize that they had just unearthed a whole city, but the city was in excellent shape too. After seven months of excavation, the team uncovered several neighborhoods of the Golden City containing residential, administrative, and industrial areas. Archaeologists rank this discovery as very important, and some even tout it as the second most important discovery of the civilization of ancient Egypt after the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Number 5. The Gold God of Merriment's Ring In Egypt, archaeologists have made a remarkable discovery in a burial site that dates back more than 3,300 years. This burial site is situated in the northern part of a once-thriving city called Akhetaten, now known as Amarna, located approximately 186 miles south of Cairo. Akhetaten was originally constructed under the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten, who attempted to reform Egypt's religious practices, emphasizing the worship of the sun disk deity, Aten. He even relocated Egypt's capital from Thebes to Akhetaten. However, his reforms were short-lived, and the city was abandoned following his death. The recently unearthed treasure includes three gold rings. One of these rings features an image of Bees, a deity often called the God of Merriment. Bees was a dwarf god associated with music, festivities, and the protection of women during childbirth. Another ring bears an inscription, Sat I Plant Tawi, which translates to Lady of the Earth. The identity of this woman remains a mystery. In addition to the rings, archaeologists also came across a statue of a love goddess and a seated figurine of Aphrodite. These discoveries provide valuable insights into that era's ancient Egyptian beliefs and culture. Number 4. The Ritual of the Right Hands In 2011, archaeologists made a startling discovery during excavations at Tel El Daba in northern Egypt. They found a group of 12 skeletal hands protruding from pits outside the city's palace walls. As reported recently in scientific reports, these dismembered hands are believed to be remnants of a ritual called the Gold of Honor. This ritual involved taking hands from defeated foes and exchanging them for gold rewards as ancient Egyptian texts and carvings described. These hands represent the first physical evidence of this custom. The hands were dated between 1620 and 1550 BCE, when Tel El Daba was known as Avaris and briefly served as Egypt's capital. When Manfred Bitak, an archaeologist at the Austrian Academy of Sciences, who has been leading excavations at Tel El Daba for many years, encountered these remains, he immediately linked them to the ancient practice of presenting the hands of vanquished enemies to the pharaoh in exchange for gold necklaces or fly-shaped golden pendants. These three, 600-year-old remains revealed a unique practice. The ancient Egyptians believed that severing an enemy's right hand would permanently rob them of strength and power. This ritualistic act occurred in sacred locations, with the severed hands ritually buried. This tradition had two purposes. It showed respect to the pharaoh and also served as a kind of punishment after death. In ancient Egypt, they thought that to move on to the afterlife, a person's body had to stay whole. Cutting off the right hand hurt the person physically and damaged their chances of reaching the afterlife. Number 3. The Magnificent Statue of Pharaoh Khafra Among the statues of Pharaoh Khafra found on the Giza Plateau, one colossal black statue stands out. The black statue of Pharaoh Khafra, discovered in 1860 by the Frenchman Auguste Mariette, stands out as one of the testaments to the illustriousness of ancient Egypt. Glistening as though it just came out of a box, the statue measures an astounding 1.68 meters in height and 57 meters in length. It was carved from diorite, a very challenging material to work with, is extremely hard, and is often used to make tools for carving as it is too hard to be carved. The statue shows Khafra as a young man with a perfect athletic physique, dressed only in a kilt, wearing the ceremonial Nimes headscarf and the false beard characteristic of his position, which is broken. His face sketches a faint smile, and his gaze is lost in infinity. Behind the pharaoh, a falcon, a representation of the god Horus, a divinity with which the monarch identified himself in life, spreads its wings around Khafra's head, offering him its protection. The king's arms are glued to the body, and he places his left hand on his knee. The right hand, also on the knee, is clenched into a fist, 
and appears to be holding a papyrus scroll, symbolizing his power. The statue's detail and craftsmanship continue to baffle experts. Number 2. Mysterious Hieroglyphs in Pharaoh's Temple In the temple of Pharaoh Seti I in Abydos, archaeologists stumbled upon enigmatic hieroglyphs that bear an uncanny resemblance to modern military technology. For nearly 3,000 years, the people of ancient Egypt lived along the banks of the river Nile under the rule of a pharaoh. Instead of letters, they used a writing system, hieroglyphics, composed of symbols. Hieroglyphics had various uses, including inscribing special prayers on tombs and in temples to aid pharaohs and others in their journey to the afterlife. Today, hieroglyphics provide valuable insights for archaeologists, shedding light on life during that era. These symbols were written on materials like papyrus and carved into stone, serving religious and everyday purposes. In total, there are more than 700 different hieroglyphs, some representing sounds or syllables. In contrast, others act as determinatives to clarify word meanings. Names were typically enclosed in a cartouche, often with symbols arranged vertically or one beneath another. Occasionally, they were even written horizontally. In some cases, hieroglyphics were penned in reverse order. Number 1. City Underwater The most recent discovery from ancient Egypt that just surfaced in September 2023 is the new treasures from a lost city that was submerged in the Nile and has traveled further deeply into the Mediterranean Sea. Recent findings at a submerged temple in Egypt's Thonis Heracleion have unveiled precious items such as silver ritual tools, gold jewelry, and alabaster containers. This temple, dedicated to the god Amun, was a significant place where pharaohs received their titles of authority from the supreme deity. The excavation efforts utilized advanced geophysical prospecting technologies to uncover these treasures. Remarkably well-preserved wooden structures from the 5th century BC were also uncovered on the site. These discoveries also shed light on a Greek sanctuary dedicated to Aphrodite, suggesting the presence of Greeks in ancient Egypt. Thonis Heracleion, an ancient Egyptian city submerged underwater and seven kilometers from the current Egyptian coast, was a key revelation. The evidence of Greek influence in the city, including a sanctuary devoted to Aphrodite and Greek weaponry indicating the presence of Greek mercenaries, was particularly noteworthy. Thonis Heracleion once served as Egypt's largest Mediterranean port, but was eventually swallowed by the sea due to rising water levels, seismic activity, and tidal waves, causing a 110-square-kilometer portion of the Nile Delta to disappear under the sea, taking with it the city of Thonis Heracleion. These remarkable findings provide insight into the religious and cultural significance of this submerged temple, and offer a glimpse into the complex history of Thonis Heracleion, where Egyptian and Greek influences intertwined beneath the waves for centuries, waiting to be rediscovered by modern archaeology. Well, there you have it. We have come to the end of this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.